You are now listening to a member of the Disney Podcast family. Head over to Disney Podcast family on Instagram to see all the latest posts for this show and links to other great Disney podcasts. Melissa Pilgrim is our choice for your next Disney vacation. You can reach her at a magical pilgrimage at gmail.com. We thank her for her support. To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Please stand clear of the doors. For favor, Welcome back to Miles from Main Street. We're here tonight talking about overlays on Disney World attractions. And I have Stephen and Katie from Idiot's Guide to Imagineering. I'm so excited I got choked up. Uh, <laughs> we get it. Welcome yes. to the show, guys. How you doing? Thank Hi. you. So excited to be here. Yeah, thanks for having us. I love every time I hear the intro of your show, I'm like, oh, I'm ready mm-hmm. to go to Disney. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> it is exciting. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, we're going to talk some overlays. But after enjoying the show, please go like and subscribe to the show on your podcast app or on YouTube. But more importantly, please share the show with a friend or family member. And remember, new episodes every Tuesday. All right, so we've been talking dream jobs, and I heard from a listener on our text line, uh, and I only get a number, guys. It's 7329, so thank you for sending in a text. Um, They say they would love to work with the kids' activities at the resort. So I'm thinking, like, poolside maybe or the um, do-it-yourself type of uh, souvenirs that you can do, like the shirts and the... uh, those molds what are they what are they that you put the little gems in i know my kids have done that um, <laughs> oh, yeah. so that must be what it is uh, i used to work at uh yacht and beach club at the pool and i never got to do the activities that was someone else's job and i always was jealous so jealous? yeah oh. I, I just had to give out wristbands and restock the towels oh <laughs> That's not a fun one. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes when I, I would, I worked at mouse gear and sometimes I would get like a magical moment. That's kind of like it. And I would just get to go out and like hang out with kids for a little bit and like pin <laughs> trade or ask them questions and stuff. I was like, not activities, but it's important in my mind. Yeah. It's an yeah. important task. <laughs> um, it, it, we had a, a cast member on and she said that she got a magical moment and the person came over and, she had said she wanted to work at Disney, so he gave her a vacuum, one of those quiet ones that don't plug in or anything, and had her like vacuuming the carpet. It's <laughs> actually brilliant. Smart. I know. <laughs> Darn it. Why did I think of mm-hmm. that? <laughs> and now you're a cast member. Yeah. Get to work. <laughs> oh, man. Good. Um, so, what, uh, Katie, what about you? What's your dream job at Disney? Oh, I always wanted to work, I guess it's not at the parks, but like Disney destinations, doing the tour guides. I love to travel. So that was always something I was like, that's the dream. You got to work there. And then you get to go lead these tour guides in different destinations around the world and give them the Disney touch. And I was like, that's got to be great. Like, I would be the best at that. It yeah, didn't sure. Work out, but it's still <laughs> a dream. <laughs> Perfect. Steven, how about you? So I was fortunate enough to actually work in four different roles when I worked at Disney. I was in merchandise, uh, recreation, like I mentioned, and attractions. I worked at Pirates of the Caribbean, and then I finally worked in entertainment. And I think the one thing that I never got to do that I really wish I could have done was be in a parade. I was a character performer, and I I did meet and greets, and I did puppets. So I did some shows, but I never got to be in a parade, and that was the one thing that I feel like I really missed out on. Maybe you could go back. It's not too late. <laughs> it's not too late. It's too late. <laughs> we have overlay to talk about, but all I want to do is ask you about your careers there. <laughs> <laughs> we we had a, a time there. Yeah. That's, Yours is more exciting. Had, than, 
Yeah, yours is more exciting than me. You you literally did a lap around all of Disney. I sure did. I was just never satisfied. I had to try it all. I was like, okay, I've done this. Now I've got to work here. Yeah. I think I worked at every park at some point. I worked at probably every deluxe resort resort at some point. But yeah, I, I had quite the, the journey. I was panicked to leave Epcot. That was my home. I couldn't go anywhere else. <laughs> Like, I don't know, to navigate the tunnels mm -hmm. and then I have to take a bus? <laughs> no, <laughs> can't do that. <laughs> I uh, hopeful, Hopefully someday it will be my retirement job. I can go and work a few hours and enjoy mm -hmm. the parks and whatever. Who knows? Maybe I'll be in a parade uh, then when I'm retired. Yeah. There you go. My dad's dream job was to uh, drive the monorails when he retired. It also mm. didn't come true for him, but I, I do think about that. I'm like, that also wouldn't be too bad. Nice, nice leisurely stroll through Magic Kingdom area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, right. I mean, you sounds like, Stephen, you got to do a lot, but yeah, parade would be fun to do, I think. Mm -hmm. With that yeah. choreography that some of those performers have, like, man. Right. It's a really good. Album. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and are. it's only gotten better over the years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's like they, they, how they can just kind of jump into it when they're mm -hmm. already uh, saying hello to somebody. Exactly, you know, they can come right back to mm -hmm. the spot. Mm -hmm. But I guess you're when you're talented. doing it twice a day, <laughs> true, it's it's yeah. all muscle memory at that point. They <laughs> they're not thinking about it. <laughs> it's literally just click back on. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Be so all nervous. Right. Well, so yeah, people, let me know about your dream job at Disney World, and I'll read it on the show. All right, overlays, guys. Um, I I said this to them ahead of time, and I I said I'm interested to see where we go with this, um, <laughs> because I said overlays on attractions. I never said anything about holidays, and I know uh, Katie. I believe you had brought up holidays. Um, That's just where my um, mind goes whenever I'm like, how overlays, holiday, whatever, any excuse to talk about holiday. The only thing I said was that Nightmare Before Christmas is off the table. Mm -hmm. um, so <laughs> I hope you caught that as well, Katie, in the in the uh, messages that we had. But um, yeah, I I'm I and, you know I say that about hol holidays. I never brought that up, but mine is also a holiday. So <laughs> mm -hmm. I think we're all on the same same wavelength. But um, all right, so. I'm going to let Steven go first. Okay. Well, first I want to say, I think I know why Katie went there. And it's because we just, yes, we went to Disneyland recently and Katie for the first time experienced the um, Haunted Mansion holiday. And she's been talking about it nonstop. I think yes. every single day, since <laughs> two months at this point, she nope. won't let it go. She's been nope. thinking about it. I cannot. And she's been trying to figure out ways that they could have it in Walt Disney yeah. World. So I think when you say overlay, that's now her new go-to yep. thought. I can't think about anything else. It's just the best thing I've ever experienced. It's just my mind goes immediately there. <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> well, we got to go to Disneyland um, a year ago, February, mm -hmm. and we caught Haunted Mansion in the middle of its closure. So oh. um, they were cleaning up Jack's mess and we oh. were <laughs> to get on it. So uh, that was yeah. the one thing. I mean, they had a, it was refurb time, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they had a lot of things that were closed, but that was the one item or, or attraction that we were upset about. But yeah, no, it I, happened to us. The, fir the yeah. first time we went, it was closed. It didn't have the overlay. It was right before. And I was really disappointed because I haven't been – that was my first time going in general. So I haven't ridden it without an overlay. Um, so that was kind of interesting. But I was like, we really wanted to do it. And then I think we saw like the week or a couple weeks before they announced they were going to have it switched over, come back from refurbishment early as that. And I was like <gasps> – well, now we have to go back and see it regular and, version too. Right. I was disappointed <laughs> because I've been to Disneyland yeah, four <laughs> times and every time it's either enclosed or Haunted Mansion Holiday. So I've never seen the original either. Oh, so geez. someday, yeah. <laughs> someday I'll see it. <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely convinced me that I have to get back there. That was our mm -hmm. first and only trip. So, yeah. Um, Fun. Okay. Actually, 
speaking of it being opened early, I had a friend out there at the time. They were the first ones on it after the long oh. closure that they were able to get on. So um, oh, that's exciting. There was a soft opening that Sunday, and they were the first oh. ones on it. So oh, cool. interesting stuff. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I'm posting on Facebook and I'm going, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was a fun time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So for my overlay, I feel like I'm concerned that it's gonna sound like a cop out, but I really thought this could work. And especially with what you just said about how it doesn't necessarily have to be a holiday. So my thought is how simple would it be for Mickey and Minnie's runaway railway to have an overlay for whatever season, whatever holiday, whatever you wanted it to be, because 90% of the experience is projection and screens. So my only caveat to that is that it's a picnic. So you would have to somehow change (laughs) either what they're wearing or kind of the setting i don't know but i felt like it'd be so easy to incorporate like christmas trees and things like mm-hmm. visually just to add some oh yeah some flair to it that just maybe it's not so blatant and in your face but it just changes the overall tone of it mm-hmm. uh without changing the storyline so that was my that was my first thought that was that was where i went with I love overlay. that idea because the overlying thing that they always say is that, you know, Haunted Mansion Holiday will never come to Orlando because how would you like to be there on your first trip and it be mm-hmm. the overlay, right? Mm-hmm. Um, your Or your only trip, whatever it may be. And that, like, it doesn't take, a, that wouldn't take away from the experience of the ride. Mm-hmm. It just, like you said, gives it a little flair. Like, right. I'm, I immediately am thinking of the street scene where they could just throw a couple of wreaths up a mm-hmm. christmas tree in the window right. exactly yeah. i think when that guy's jackhammering and it's like just how simple it would be and and how they could just switch it on and off like there's no mm-hmm. you don't even need to do anything it's all it's all digital so it's just prepared you just there's no downtime necessary mm-hmm. and you could do right. it with halloween too you could change put some pumpkins in the window or you know skeletons or something dancing and it also kind of works if you think of it in an Orlando setting, because you could still technically have a picnic some days in the winter. It's not necessarily snowing yeah. there. So if you think of it there, like it's taking place in a warm climate, then you don't have to change the story. Yeah. Well, as, like the, as they like to say, mouse, mouse rules apply. Mm-hmm. I guess that's what they say. So. <laughs> yes. Mouse rules definitely apply with this one. But I just felt like you could do it for anything you wanted it to be if you if you wanted to change it to fourth of july and do like the whole month of july and add fireworks and like mm-hmm. patriotic flags and banners and things like just be easy to adjust mm-hmm. yeah i feel like whenever i think of an overlay and the ones that i like the best are the one that it just like seem it like fits perfectly but like it doesn't take away from what it is year round so like that's what i think of it has to like fit in where i feel like when i'm riding it Oh, I didn't know this was supposed to be anything else. And mm-hmm. then like it feels like I don't know. I kind of was I was like looking earlier and I was noticing like I was reading um I forgot that they did one for Space Mountain here in Magic Kingdom and I was like it's just lights and the music. So like I kind mm-hmm. of forget about it sometimes. So I feel like that one's like an easy one and not that I don't know, that much of a reach, but I feel like yours has like a nice little touch to it. It's like an easier way but takes it to the next level. Hmm. And you can swap it out easier. I don't right. know. Thanks. I just mm-hmm. I'm envisioning like this is the next thing for Jollywood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 That know? would be a, such a great, just a little add on, just a little plus for your ticket cost that's already high. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, yeah. those food snack options that they're bringing in this year are, they're kind of getting to me. I may have to pay mm-hmm. that <laughs> to go. So. I don't know. It's amazing how the ability to buy a snack like that. Yeah. It's just to go. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm hungry. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, okay. So Katie, how about you? What, what ideas do you have? 
Uh, so I don't know if this is like low hanging fruit and obviously this is talked about, but I keep going back. I mean, I know there's talk of like, oh, if Coco could go into the boat ride in Mexico, but then I was also like, I feel like they really could do Dia de, la, Dia de los Muertos and make it look really phenomenal in there and have like flowers and the light scenes. And I feel like that would be such an easy one to switch out for October. And then there really isn't very much that you would have to change back afterwards. So that's like a very easy one to do. And then the other one I was thinking, and it just, I like was thinking as you were talking, Stephen, and I was like, oh, wait, this is a good idea, but I just forgot what it was. So I may have to come back to this one. (laughs) This is a frequent occurrence with Katie. She will have a thought and it's the greatest thought of all time. And it's gone in the same breath. (laughs) And then at the end of the episode, I'm like, oh, wait, that's what I was going to (laughs) say about it. Shoot. And I had a notepad of my notes, but darn it. (laughs) Yeah. But I really, I think, yeah, for me personally, I feel like, oh, I know what it was. I was going to say, this is a really easy one, but you could make Everest into a holiday or winter theme and it's already very done. It's pretty much there. You could add trees or different things. <laughs> I maybe could have not like, shared that one. That could have stayed like, lost forever. <laughs> like it only snows at Christmas and yeah. <laughs> on Mount Everest. <laughs> like they celebrate Christmas. Yes. Well, you know, you just throw in some trees and you got to mm-hmm. overlay. <laughs> throw Santa hat on the Yeti. Oh, <laughs> yes. Or you clean Clean up all the hair ties oh. that are on the mountain and replace them with ornaments. Mm. Oh, there you go. Now you've given there. people too many ideas. Wow. Yep, so. <laughs> that, that is something. We don't yeah. condone Christmas ornaments on the ride. No. <laughs> no. Well, we, yeah, nobody throw those. Mm-hmm. Nobody, please, no. Yeah, <laughs> if you're purchasing one there, it's like 30 to $40 for some of those ornaments. So if you got the cash... I just it elsewhere. Yes. Like glass balls out. And then... Oh God, no! Okay, I didn't think this through. I, I was thinking, you know, Disney could put it up, but yeah, you're right. Cat, people will definitely start throwing mm-hmm. things. So disregard. Everest is off the table. But... I feel like there weren't hair ties the last time I wrote it. Oh, what? Just... I'm sorry. I yeah. feel like there weren't hair ties. Are they okay? They may yeah. they may clean them up frequently, but when I was the last time I read it was like two or three months ago it's pretty heavy on the hair ties so uh, maybe there was a cheer group or something that had gotten in town just before yeah, probably and tossed it over. <laughs> um I have another one okay but I don't know if this is legal ethical or <laughs> or um, okay. highly yeah, frowned upon <laughs> but <laughs> I'm gonna say it anyway what if there was like some kind of urban legend in the Ooh. savannas of Africa that there was some scary creature and you had Kilimanjaro's at Kilimanjaro safaris at night and your tour guide was like telling you folklore I mean, ghost stories. I'm sold. The I'm there. Ooh. I don't know if that can be done. <laughs> Seems a little dangerous for the animals, <laughs> but I'm on board. I'm ready. I mean, just strap on some extra lights as headlights, make sure they're seen. But yeah, I don't know. Could be spooky, and and maybe there's maybe I've just opened up a, a new Halloween party at Animal <gasps> Kingdom option. Ooh, animals after dark. Yeah, I mean, most of the animals go into the house. Yeah, they night. do. Mm-hmm. But so, what if they were to like do that? Let them go. True, because you don't want to take them out of their routine. Let mm-hmm. them go do their thing, but then have night vision goggles and Ooh. have them go- have people going through on yeah. the trucks and have cast That'd members hiding fine. in the bush. And they jump out at you. <laughs> yeah, yes. it's like their own version of Holly of uh, mm. horror nights. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so Kilimanjaro when I, Horror Nights. That's... When I went to Horror Nights, like for the first the first time I went in high school, and this was like I'm very old, so this was a long time ago. But they had through it used to be an Islands of Adventure, and they had it through Jurassic Park area. But they had people in there, and they had glowing eyes and different things like that. And you couldn't see, and they were dressed as animals and dressed as dinosaurs that would come out and get you. And you could have something what? like that if if they weren't getting rid of uh, Dino Land. We could have done that True. there. And that would have been, yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe oh. they can have the Festival of the Lion King actors in there at night dressed up as zebras and crocodiles and giraffes hiding. I <laughs> like it. A night mound or something. Yeah. Get some extra hours, some overtime. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
for the holidays or not. <laughs> this isn't sorry, my brain's always on the holidays. <laughs> I couldn't tell. <laughs> oh man. But I feel like it. overlays are so hard because you do have to make it like it has to make sense and it has to be able to be removed halfway through. I don't know. It does. And I think that's part of the problem too, is you don't want it to take long to put it up and down. Mm -hmm. right? right. Which is why like Steven, that's a great idea because with the Mickey and Minnie's one, because they can just flip the switch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, now Everest, I mean, no. throwing a few trees up, there, <laughs> <everybody, but. laughs> I, yeah. I think like going back to kind of what you're saying now about the time it takes and the thought that, well, Disney World is sometimes considered a one time experience mm -hmm. for people that are traveling from a really long distance and just getting their big Disney vacation is we got to think about the biggest kind of overlay faux pas of all time that is incredible but still horrible for anyone's photos which was oh. the cake overlay <laughs> on the castle <laughs> where you're going for the 25th that. anniversary <laughs> which horribly in your face very unique i wish i don't think we went that year i don't i really I don't remember not. seeing it or maybe i've blocked it out of my memory but incredibly cool but if that was my one time, I yeah. really don't want that photo. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, we talked about that there was originally plans that were canceled to have a Muppet takeover for a mm. year in Disneyland. And so, I mean, I'm a Muppets fan, so I loved it. But Stephen yeah. and Marissa were horrified by it, that your one trip to Disney. And they had it where none of the characters, like Mickey and Minnie, were taking a vacation. And the Muppets were coming in to set up shop for the year. So, I mean, I can see it in that sense. Like, if you were coming and this is your one time to go and Mickey and Minnie are nowhere to be found – Weren't they yeah. going to do something to the Matterhorn, like make it green yeah, or green. something, like Kermit? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, yeah, thank that's you. Like, yeah. So now, I mean, with Disneyland, you could do that though because it's a local mm -hmm. park, right? I mean, True. There are people that make that, you know, like a, we do, and there there are people that make that track very seldomly, you know. Mm -hmm. But I think they could get away with it there, mm -hmm. whereas not in Orlando, they they couldn't do that. Right. True. I guess right. I never thought about it. I felt like but when we were talk when I was like looking up different ideas earlier today and trying to remember everything that has an overlay, I feel like there's way more in Disneyland than World. So I'm guessing that's probably why is they want to preserve World a bit more. Interesting. The food options at Disneyland are a lot better too. Um, yeah. At least that was my experience. But I think they're rotating those a lot more because of all the return guests. Mm -hmm. that they yeah, they have to. Yeah. change it out or people are going to get bored yeah oh i guess food overlays that's a thing we didn't talk about that <laughs> whole menu items well actually i was thinking about that like the sleepy hollow they could change i don't know what you could do to change it out but like make those during the holidays or halloween season you could change those to be very seasonal and get rid of the traditional offerings that they usually have and just do i don't really know what would be pumpkin spice yeah, Ooh. like pumpkin or like um, toasted pumpkin Innovative. seeds or things like that. I don't know. I don't know. I have to research this further. I'll come back to it <laughs> at a later date. The food well, overlay. Yeah, I'm trying to remember for the Halloween party if they do have a Halloween treat there. I know they've got the they do. skipper that everybody wants. Mm -hmm. but... Yes. Yeah, I do. I think they do have the a dessert option there. Yeah, which I can't remember off the top of my head right now. But... Mm -hmm. All right. So here's my idea. Okay, I'm ready. Remy's. Mm. We're going over there and we're putting them up. It's Christmas Carol. Over <gasps> I'm sold. Wow. <laughs> I'm sold. Wait, there's more. Oh. <laughs> I don't even need, need to hear the rest. I'm sold. <laughs> so, like, I mean, you're shrunk down to the size of a rat to go through this ride, mm -hmm. right? So everything's from the point of view of Rizzo. Yes. Right? But, like, it's... So you're basically going to see the whole story of the Christmas Carol, um, but from his point of view, oh. and which is basically the narrator's point of view, right? Because mm -hmm. he's hanging out with Gonzo the whole time. Um, but like as I was thinking about this, I just started thinking about the music um, that comes from Christmas Carol and being mm -hmm. able to see 
see and hear that within the ride. Mm -hmm. um, again, it's another one that you could, there's so many screens that you could really flip the switch yeah. quickly. Um, you know, it might take a little more work than, you know, a literal switch, but, you know, it there because there are some state sets, some actual yeah. sets in there. But, um, you know, like I really think that at the view of Rizzo, that that would be really cool. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I just love M Muppets Christmas Carol. It's one of those that you have to watch every year. And mm -hmm. um, so I would love to see that. That would be a cool one. I'm really on board with that one. I like have that. Oh, being thrown at you. At yeah. Mm -hmm. um, or kicked at you, I guess. Because I think Scrooge does that at some point. He kicks the snow at. Yeah. At mm -hmm. so, yeah. I'm just like picturing. What's that first song they sing? Uh, and I'm just picturing seeing it from Rizzo's level. Yeah. In the beginning like of running the around the town. And yeah. So, yep. mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be so fun. I'm okay. terrible with names of songs. So <laughs> I, it's it's like a very simple name, whatever the name is, but it's it's uh it's a big company number. Yes. But I, Katie and I w have talked about the Muppets a lot recently, and like it's insane that they're sitting on this IP that so many people like love, and there's they're doing nothing, not just in the parks, but within anything. There's nothing new. I guess the last show kind of tanked on Disney Plus, but but I, I think don't that's fair. I feel like it's their fault because I didn't even realize, like, I forgot that that show was on there. I feel mm -hmm. like they didn't do a ton of marketing or really what they should. And I feel like in this park, that store is closed. Like, isn't there the Muppet store mm -hmm. and it's closed? Yeah, it's always all closed. The time? Yep. Are we talking about Muppet Mayhem? Yes. Was that with any Muppet? Yeah. yeah. Did Which, you watch it? I never actually watched it. Oh my gosh, go watch it. Is it, it good? good? You love the Muppets. You yeah, yeah, yeah. It. Okay. I'm gonna go watch it right after this. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yes. It was it's wonderful. But am I gonna be really upset that they canceled it? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Whatever. it's not that wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I thought mm. it really hit all the marks that a Muppets show should hit. Oh. And um you know, I think I think we're in a weird time where those of us that love the Muppets are getting older mm -hmm. and the demographic that they're looking for doesn't know who they are. Right. You know? yeah. like, the last big movie was Jason Siegel's Muppets. Mm -hmm. um, and which mm -hmm. is an incredible movie. If you haven't seen it, is it a good movie. Oh, no, that's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um Again, he hit it perfectly, and it. The problem is, is that I don't think they just they just don't know how to do it. Like they don't know, mm -hmm. and that's that goes all the way back to the time that they bought it. They weren't buying mm -hmm. the Muppets for the Muppets. They were buying the Muppets for Jim Henson. Exactly. Yep. And, and they had no direction or of what to do mm -hmm. with it at that point. I wonder why kids don't pick up on it now. Do you think it's because the first wave of the Muppets was just exciting? And then I wonder if like millennials, like I remember as a child watching Muppet Babies, like it was geared toward yeah. children. Mm -hmm. And so like, like kids, kids. And so I wonder if that kept me involved in it and brought me up into the, I don't want to say adult Muppet, but the, you know what I mean? Like the, Muppets well, as we know them. So I wonder if there's nothing bringing kids to it anymore. I don't know if you remember growing up, there was also um, the show Muppets Tonight. And then mm -hmm. they would have like celebrities that would come on. Yeah. And that was on Disney Channel like every Sunday. And so as a kid, I watched Muppet Babies. So I loved that. But then as I got a little bit older, like nine or 10, then that was on Disney Channel. And I like loved that. I would rush to see it on Sunday night. I loved the, th the themes the theme song sorry and was obsessed with it and i don't know if they have that for them today like i don't know if it ever plays old episodes and when i watched it it was old like those weren't new so i just don't think they play a lot of like repeats and stuff and i don't think they expose them to that which is kind of I, I guess gets lost in that part of it I yeah I have a few more years on you, I think, because I remember watching the original movies and mm -hmm. rerun I was watching reruns of the TV original TV show. Mm -hmm. um, but, 
you know, Muppet Babies was huge when I was a kid as well. And I, you need to remember when the Muppets were first created, they weren't really meant for kids. Yeah. And I think the Muppet Babies was created to expand, you know, mm-hmm. get more people interested, right. get those, that next generation, right? So they've tried, like the ABC TV show that they did, gosh, is that 10 years ago now? That's crazy. Um, yeah. I know, right? Like when they did that, the first half of the season was awful. It was terrible. And I think the decision had been made at that point, but Mm. they changed it up. And the second half of the season was really good. Like it was getting its stride and they canceled it before they could really, like, I think if it had gotten a second season, it, it could have had that magic. I hate that they're so quick to cancel things nowadays because I do feel like it does take some, at least a season to really set up the story or really set up the characters and have people kind of identify them and start to get to like resonate with them. Mm-hmm. And I feel like when they're only giving them one season, it makes it so hard. Like it's just over and done and then it doesn't even get a chance. So it's like setting it up to fail. And yeah. Then- and to go back to Mayhem, I don't know that the show was that bad that they canceled it. Um, I think it more may have been a cost cutter Mm -hmm. than anything else, because like I said, it's really good and it does set up the uh, next season like really well, but um, you know, like that came out just as uh, main or wall street was deciding we want you to make profits now, Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know, Mm -hmm. And that's when everything flipped for Disney and they had to, and I mean, you can take it even to Star Wars and Marvel. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the content there is almost nothing now because Mm -hmm. they've cut so much. So it's like this frozen effect. They want everything to live up to these immediate return Mm -hmm. standards. And you think of things like Encanto, which I don't think anyone picked up on that at the beginning, but then it took Mm -hmm. off and went crazy. So, like they can just burn. let these things sit for a minute and, and cook. Mm-hmm. It, that one, we're really going on a tangent now. I know. We're, this has <laughs> gone from overlays to Muppet <laughs> deconstruction. <laughs> and we got really serious about it, yeah. too. The state of the Muppets. <laughs> this is serious stuff. I've yes, been it is. It is. Muppets for mm-hmm. a long time here. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they better not take away. I mean, they, I could stand for them to clean up the theater, but Muppet <gasps> is like, uh, no, they're gonna have riots. Well, they are, no, and mm-hmm. you have to be able to, if, if knock on wood, that can never happen, but if it did, like, you have to be able to purchase like the video of the ride, like, they have to make that available <laughs> because, oh, yeah. like, that's mm-hmm. the last thing he worked on. They have to, right? That would mm-hmm. be like insulting. I would reach, <laughs> knock things over. Have you watched the documentary on Jim Henson yet? No, I have I not. No. no, I know, I know. I'm I slacking. Some some Muppet fan. She. I is. know it's been a, it's been a <laughs> crazy couple of months. On You're here. the reason the Muppets are falling apart, Katie. I know. I you you claim to be this huge uh, fan. I haven't know, watched the Mayhem. I know, haven't watched. I know. To be wow. fair, I haven't really watched anything on TV in the last <laughs> That's like true. four months. We just so. had to force her to watch Big Hero Six. And yeah, Canto for the first time, and I it know. did. They both changed her life, but I know, I know. I've just been so bla- bad at like mm-hmm. keeping up with new shows and content and everything. So I, I'm trying to make an effort in 2020. 2025 is my year. I'm gonna catch up on everything. Everything. <laughs> Bring me back next year. And I'm gonna be an encyclopedia of it all. <laughs> I have not watched it either. I've been told it's wonderful, so I gotta. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, but. <laughs> This may be one of the points too, is that they do put stuff out, but it's not being watched mm-hmm. even by us. Mm-hmm. So that's true. If we're like getting content overload, like I feel like growing up as a kid, it was just a lot. Things were out in movie theaters for a lot longer, and I feel like you just didn't have as much. You didn't have as many TV shows. You didn't have any, mm-hmm. as many movies out, so things just lasted longer and were given more of a chance. But I feel like now it's just there's so much out there, and I just spend half the time like. Well, what do you think we should watch tonight? What do you think we should watch tonight? <laughs> Flipping through and not watching anything <laughs> four yeah, hours later. <laughs> we do the same thing where it's you have no idea what to watch. 
it's and you're much. just waiting for someone to tell you that something's good. Yeah. Right. And at the risk of being canceled, it's kind of the same thing that I feel about Taylor Swift. I was a huge mm. Taylor Swift fan for years and years, but now she puts out so much stuff that I can't keep up with it. So I panic and do nothing. It's overwhelming. <laughs> I don't listen to any of it. I don't follow any of it because I feel like it's all or nothing. So maybe it's maybe it's a content overload. Maybe we're yeah. just overstimulated <laughs> so much. We have uh, thousands of shows at, at our disposal at any moment of time and how do you decide on one yeah. i can't go to a i can't go to the cheesecake factory how am i supposed to pick one thing from that menu <laughs> i need all of it i'll take one of everything yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, uh, okay so we've gone yep from Off. christmas carol to cheesecake factory that's <laughs> a <laughs> <laughs> this all stemmed from your your overlay at Remy's. Yeah. Yeah. But back to your overlay. That's a good. You could do more stuff with Remy. You could do like, you know how they did the um was it the Disney Channel nights where they or the mm, they had mm -hmm. Disney Channel night where they went back. You could do like yes. uh throwback Parks Day, and then you could have like a you bring back Honey I Shrunk the Audience, and then we're in little <laughs> in a mouse. You know, well, I'm I mean, I haven't, I haven't fleshed that part of the idea <laughs> okay. out, but I mean, it you could can happen. think of it. Uh, yeah. Sure. The Zelenskys mm -hmm. are just, they shot mm -hmm. us back down. We're super sized. We're going through doors. Chaos Listen, is happening. You can explain anything through a pre-show. It's what I've learned exactly. from Disney. <laughs> Whatever mm -hmm. they tell you is what's happening. It doesn't matter what's going to happen yeah. in the ride. Yeah. They've yeah. told the you what's up. happening exactly. blatantly. The, why are we going back in time to to pick up mm -hmm. a dinosaur? That makes no sense. But here we are. <laughs> We've got him in our back seat. So let's mm -hmm. go. <laughs> uh, I do remember seeing Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. And there was a moment, I think it was when Michael Jackson died, that they brought back Captain, Captain Eo. Mm -hmm. And I never My got favorite. to see that. <gasps> it's I know. so good. My childhood, let me tell you. <laughs> I, <laughs> it lived oh, no. died over Disney Channel weekend because um, back then it was a it was again I might have a couple of years on you guys but um, back then it was a pay channel yes mm, and, yeah so you had to get, I only got free weekends yes and yep. like my sister and I would sit in front of that TV all weekend yep and um she did disney college program and that was the first chance i got to go to disney so i was you know in college as well and so that like that was so disney channel would be yeah anyway mm -hmm. i'm getting all off track here <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens when we're on show <laughs> I, but I do remember seeing video of captain eo and wanting to see it. And then when I saw it was coming back at that time, it was still not at a time that I could travel and, mm. and see it. Uh, so It's good. Um, I'm sad it, you know, it came. Well, I don't know if it came at the expense of Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. I can't remember if it closed, if it was closed before or if that's why that, they did it. It was, but yeah, they, well. To bring I it think, back? I don't remember. I think it closed audience because it had run its course. But then. Okay. Michael Jackson had died and they brought that brought back. back for like six months or something. It was really good. That's like a, This is really off topic, but <laughs> it's another memory that I have. I remember the moment I found out Michael Jackson died. I was at the, the pool at the DVC Kadani Lodge at Disney's <laughs> Animal Kingdom. I don't know why, but I just remember being distraught at that pool. So <laughs> another Disney moment. <laughs> oh my gosh it will always be stuck in my brain Disney makes the memories right <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. I don't know if that's the one I want to hold on to but I have so. just some trot people... at the park <laughs> at the pool mm -hmm. oh, some people no. remember here and where uh, where they were or remember where they are or were oh my goodness words are good um, <laughs> some people remember where they were when JFK died or when 9-11 mm. happened Stephen remembers when I <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> I remember when Whitney Houston died. I was at the Lowe's Portofino Bay Hotel. Why don't Universal. I remember that? I was probably with you. <laughs> I don't even remember that. These are big moments for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Back to overlays. <laughs> Back to overlays. Okay, well, I have a question. So at the beginning, <laughs> you mentioned like not going to holidays. What were what did you have in mind? I was hoping by not saying holidays that we'd get something other than holidays. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> like it's hard to think. Yeah. Um, you know, like Muppets is what came to my head at first. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, the Christmas Carol movie is my favorite movie that they've done, mm-hmm. even though there are plenty of great Muppet movies out right. there. Um, so I immediately went to Rizzo and mm-hmm. that thought. Okay. I mean, is uh, so then here's another one for you Muppet Treasure Island overlay on Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, (laughs) and I actually I did. (laughs) Yes, yes. So, really, just what we're really, we should have just done a Muppets overlay (laughs) (laughs) on everything. Yes, how can we incorporate them? Everything small world, Mm -hmm. space mountain. (laughs) I'm really thinking they're going to work well on Tron. Like I see it now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Definitely. Definitely. Miss good. Piggy is screaming. <laughs> Kermit. I had this thought when you were talking about Muppets in Disneyland for a year. Mm-hmm. As long as they don't have the life size characters. Oh, those things. Like they had planned scary. for Here Come the Muppets. Like, mm-hmm. oh, that was. Oh. Yeah. Oh. They, they're I... in all those photos from the opening days of Hollywood so or MGM Studios, and they're creepy. Miss Piggy so looks like a freak. Uh, <laughs> think of Kermit. Yeah. No. The only only acceptable life-size Muppet is Sweetums. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Oh no. It's oh, almost no. as bad as those like old photos of Mickey and Minnie. <laughs> oh. <Yes>. <laughs> Nightmare <laughs> fuel. Yes. yes. <laughs> so terrifying. Mm-hmm. Even like looking back, even in like the 90s, some of them were a little mm-hmm. questionable looking. And I was just like, mm-hmm. hugs, everyone. I'm so excited I have some to see pictures. you. <laughs> I have some pictures with Donald where he looks just. It was a rough time for him in the 90s. Quacked out or something. <laughs> it was a rough time. <laughs> Yikes. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. But overlays are hard because it has to have, you have to have a reason why you're doing this. Like, why are we taking this Mm -hmm. beloved ride down? So I feel like holidays are such an easy, like, grasp at it. But Mm -hmm. yeah, it's hard to do one outside of that or like feel like how it would fit and why. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, we could take a ride, make a movie out of it, and then put that in to the ride. I don't know if that's Mm -hmm. ever been Mm -hmm. done. But well, pirates, yeah, <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> Johnny Depp wasn't in there before, <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, they overlaid the easy. movie back into the right, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, but you know, you've got all those Fox properties too, and so right. now, yeah, kind of like, Ooh, let's bring... a Simpsons takeover of Tiana's Bayou Adventure that is something. So well, they have a lot of screens in there, so yeah. <laughs> can easily project what we need to. Um, hmm. What yeah. if we still had uh, alien extraterrestrial? <gasps> Ooh, that's my um, that's my favorite ride that disappeared. That was yeah, it what was amazing. I yes. loved. It. I was too uh, scared. If that was in Hollywood Studios, I think it might have a chance. I think it may have stood the test of time. But I think Magic Kingdom was a difficult option, difficult choice. It was ahead of its time. Mm-hmm. Yes. I think if it would have been 10 years later, probably still be there. Oh, man. It was so good. It was like that was nightmare fuel. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I mean, the original idea was alien, right? Mm-hmm. And then they couldn't get the license, so they went the route they did. But now they've got Alien. True. Mm-hmm. So it's time to revisit it. Bring it back. Right. They got that Romulus out. It's time yeah. to. Yeah. I'm trying to think, where could that go? I, oh, you could just put it in Space Mountain, and then I as you're wonder, going corners. <laughs> do we think it's just sitting there, as it was after Stitch? Or did they gut it? I don't. I don't want to think about it. I don't know. That room's so scary. <laughs> that room's so scary. The idea of it mm-hmm. just like sitting with. Uh, well, it would just be Stitch. Would yeah. it be 
Yes, yeah, scary. Not as scary. I got. Yeah, it would be. Stitch is um, horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's some pictures of the animatronic Stitch that. Yeah. It's like skin and fur is kind of falling off. <laughs> That's what I'm Don't like thinking of. There, isn't Don't there like a photo up. of like a of it like in the dark or it's like not? Yeah. Super, yeah. That's what I'm thinking it of. Kind it's of scary, terrifying. Actually. Yeah. It's, well, no, I don't just open that, that as a walkthrough experience now, and it's a haunted house. So, well, maybe, hopefully not. Hopefully, they learn their lesson after somebody made off with one of their animatronics, bu uh, Buzzy from Epcot. So, hopefully, they're not just leaving know. things unattended. Hopefully, True. and remember, it's Mickey's not so scary. Correct. Yeah. Party, so. <laughs> <laughs> Skinless <sighs> Stitch is not is too scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Instead of putting uh Elvis stitch out there, we're gonna put out skinless stitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's doing the dance party now. No, no. <laughs> His eyeballs hanging out. Oh, no. And Vampirina, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. I love it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Stitch, you hit me in the head with your eye. <laughs> <laughs> Does okay, wait. I'm thinking of overlays again because that is the topic of this episode. But <laughs> is maybe this already happens? But does Sunny Eclipse do holiday songs during Christmas time? I don't believe so. Mm -mm. Well, I think he should. We should write a couple of holiday lunar a good one solar be... tunes for him. Yeah, you could I do like any, that. he could do any time of year. Maybe yeah. he gets a special one for. And yeah. it's raining he outside. Could, you know, and they were releasing all these concerts when the Eras tour mm -hmm. came out. He could do a couple of Taylor Swift songs. He'd like Oh yeah, didn't they have that like uh what was it, the punk remake album that just came out? So oh yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Some of those. Any, anytime they have like a mm -hmm. new promo for music wise, they can yeah. just test it with him. Yeah. <laughs> That'd actually be really fun though. Mm -hmm. And it's like That's limited time. Cool. No. Oh, do I goodness. need to? It's so good. Wait, what yeah. is do it? Do I? I was surprised oh, at who they got. Oh, okay. It's it's the punk one. Oh, but right. we were talking about it. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, all right, I'm gonna go listen. We I have at, so much to catch up. We on. were at D23 and they had Simple Plan performed their song for yeah. it, and oh, we missed yeah. it. I don't know where we were, but we missed it. I saw them at grad night in <laughs> high school at Disney. <laughs> well, that's kind of an overlay. Well, no, yeah. it's kind of just like a party, but. Yeah, I don't know if it's an overlay. Yeah. We did the oh. sweethearts night when we were out there, so the castle oh. on the main street was covered in rolling hearts the whole time. Oh. So there's an overlay. That's nice. I've never done that. We need so more I, of that over here. I yeah. told my story on that. You know, I had two different apps running all day long when we were in Disneyland to make our way through the park and make the best decisions. Right, two apps mm -hmm. running all day long and. <laughs> We get into that party and I put my phone away <laughs> and we were like walking and, you know, like I didn't put, I didn't put enough planning into it. And that was, that's been my point ever since is like, you still need to plan for even the special events. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and we'd walk up to either a photo op or a meet and greet. And the lines of course were long and we'd be like this stinks mm -hmm. and we're having trouble out there they will wrote and i think they've started that with the characters here too where every half hour they rotate characters mm -hmm. um so you might be in line for um i don't know aurora and philippe and you know two people in front of you and you're about to get up there and then they'll bring in uh, snow oh yeah you know, like mm -hmm. and so it's it's one of those things that We'd be like, okay, well, we'll wait for this person. Then they rotate them out, and then you're sitting there for half an hour. Uh, wait for uh -huh. The next oh, one. Wait. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. anyway, another tangent. I I always say like I had asked a cast member, and I had said, you know, like I can't find any information. And I had the map in my hand. And I'm like looking. I can't. I'm like I don't even know where to go for some of this stuff. And they're like, it's all on the app. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I am a moron. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So yeah. Anyway, how many tangents can we hit? <laughs> <laughs> we just have a lot of things to talk about. <laughs> We're an excited bunch. I know we haven't caught up in a year, so it's time. I know. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of things to say. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, I forgot to ask at the top of the show. 
you know, tell us all about I- Idiot's Guide. Um, I love the show. I think it's great that you guys are recreating all kinds of stuff or creating new things. And I have another idea we should talk about off off the show. So, oh, Ooh, yeah. Well, I'll Steve, Katie, I did... Katie's our spokesperson. Oh, I was going to say I was going to let you do it <laughs> since I did it last time. But yep. all right, it's sure. Your, it's your role. I know, but now I'm nervous since I did such a bad at planning, such a bad job at planning overlays that now I'm to like, we make rise. <laughs> well, now's your chance to, to make up yeah. for it. Well, on our podcast, we uh, kind of reimagine Disney our way. So we do uh, kind of our own interpretations of what we would like to see for different attractions, hotels. Um, we have food options, all of that good stuff. We've been done entertainment as well. And then we started to mix in some history and revisiting some canceled projects that Disney had on the books and reimagining visioning them on, on what it would be like if we um, if we were in charge and did it our way. But we're right now on our break for season two, but we'll be back up in January for our newest season. So lots of new ideas to come. We're already planning. And it's a great show. They they do a wonderful job. Um, the research you guys Thank put you. into it is is always a lot of fun to you know it's I'm a always lot of planning. <laughs> a full-time job it is <laughs> there's, and there's a bunch of us so trying to get us all on the same schedule Ooh. and yep. planning all together is we got to keep it as organized as possible but it's so much fun yeah it is mm-hmm. yeah yeah well like i said you know like i am so glad you guys were able to come out and join me tonight and we could get things to work I, you know we had wanted to do something earlier but i it was my fault that time so <laughs> No, I'm glad I worked out because then I got to join this time because I could make the last one. So (laughs) sorry, Marissa. You're lost. Yeah, we're missing one of our idiots tonight, Marissa. (laughs) But yeah, thank you so much for having us. This is so much fun. We are we had so much fun last time and yeah, just as much fun this time. Maybe even (laughs) even more. A a ringing endorsement. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yes. No, thank you guys for joining me. Um, And thanks everyone for watching and listening. Uh, We do have episodes every Tuesday. And um, where can we find you guys? I'll let you plug this one. (laughs) So we we are on, let's see, Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. And our account is at Idiots Imagineering. And we're also on Twitter or X at at Idiots Imagineer. We couldn't fit the ing. It wouldn't let us. <laughs> and then we can also find us at idiotsimagineering.com. So many ways to mm-hmm. find and communicate. Perfect. And we are on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube as at Miles from Main Street. So uh, come on and find us there. And um, yeah, thanks everybody. But Thank as we like to say, some live close but others don't. So let's talk about it. We'll see you next time on Miles from Main Street.